this is Michelle from Copper. I'm super excited to talk about some of our new file organization features. Now, if you're like me, you often have to go through what we call the file hunt. This is when you're looking for that specific file. You had it just last week, but you can't quite figure out how to find it. You might have to sift through your Google Drive. Maybe you're checking Gmail for that last email thread, or maybe you even have to ask a colleague to resend it to you. And worst case, maybe that colleague is no longer with your team. In that case, it's gone forever. But even beyond just finding the file itself, you're also wasting time that you could otherwise be spending working on your business or your job or making your customers happy. So that's why I'm super excited about these features that will allow you to automatically associate files with the copper person that's involved and easily access them afterward. So let's dive into how it works. So as an example here, I've got an email open to my client, Ray. This email includes a link to a Google Doc that we're working on together, but it also could be uh, an embedded image or an attached PDF or CSV or any file format, really. How this works is as soon as our Gmail integration kicks in and starts syncing those emails automatically, it's also detecting those files. And then it's actually going to automatically attach it or associate it with the person record who's involved. So I've got Ray here in Copper and I'm just using my Copper Chrome extension on the side. Uh, if I open up Ray, I'm actually gonna see that under his related section, and under the files that this file that I've sent here has been automatically related. So here I've seen all my files. This is one that I emailed him, so it's been added here automatically. This one is one I uploaded manually, and this one is another one that was automatically associated. And I can tell the difference by looking at these different tabs here. I've got my uploads, the ones I added, and then I've got my auto relates, which are the ones that Copper has added for me. The really neat thing is this gives me really easy access to any files that myself or my teammates have sent or received with Ray, meaning we don't have to go sifting around through anything as long as we can take a look at Ray in Copper. But even if we don't take a look at Ray directly, we can access it from the opportunities or the company that he's associated with. So let me open up a, an opportunity that's related to this contact, this person, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So I'm opening that up. If I take a look at the files under this opportunity, I will also see here that I can check the people files. So this means any people in Copper who are related to this opportunity, are gonna show up here, and if they have any files, I can easily just grab it from this view. And same thing applies to the companies that people are associated with. Now, say I wanna email that file back to them or maybe to someone else. Maybe I have a brochure or a template that I'm using pretty often and I'm kind of distributing regularly. What is really neat here is if I send an email either through Gmail or through the Copper web app, I'm actually gonna get some options here to add from Copper. And what this means is it's gonna display all the files I have synced up with Copper. I can search them either by the name of the file itself or I can take a look based on which people I know have sent or received that file. So if I have a brochure and I know I sent it to Ray last, uh, then I can open him up and easily grab it for the next client. So it's all here, easily organized, easily accessible, and it's gonna end what we call the file hunt. If you've got any comments or questions about this feature or anything about Copper in general, definitely visit us at community.copper.com. Myself or my colleagues will be happy to help you. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoy this feature as much as I do.